Hi, today I am updating a whole bunch of the presets and plugins I've made for DaVinci Resolve. Let's talk about it. These updates are across um, a, a wide range of the products I've made. There's some free ones in there, some paid ones, and the updates range from um, some like small bug fixes or like use case bug fixes um, to legitimate error bug fixes to cool new features. Uh, so <laughs> the first category uh, being those sort of uh, incidental uh, uh, slightly less commonly bug fixes. <laughs> the plugins with this sort of update uh, will be my Picture in Picture Pro, uh, Layout Pro, which also has other stuff we're gonna talk about soon, um, and my Edit Page Masks. Hey, if you don't know, I released a pack of drag and drop Edit Page Masks. Um, it's uh, pretty cheap if you wanna pick it up, or if you want to learn how to make presets like them yourself, I have a separate tutorial about that, but if you just wanna, you know, have them, you can buy them. <laughs> The bug fix that this updates address has to do when you uh, applied these effects um, to extremely long clips, like well over an hour, or even a small section of a much longer video. If you had like a multi-hour long like Twitch recording or something, uh, and you wanted to apply even just an edit page mask, um, and you had to apply that to a small clip that came from you know an hour or two into the clip, it would air out. Uh, and I fixed it. <laughs> now let's talk about um, the other updates in Layout Pro. If you don't know, Layout Pro is this really cool little effect that I like a lot that I made. And for instance, I just dropped four clips on my timeline. If I right click and make those a fusion clip, and then I open up uh, Effects, Sterling Supply Co, Layout Pro, we have all these different options. And if I come down to Layout Pro, uh, something like four, yeah, 4v2, drop this on there. Boom, it arranges all four of those clips into this layout. Then you can go customize, zoom, move those around. It does outline, drop shadow, pretty cool. But some of the specifically new things I added, um, if I come up to these combo options at the top, if I grab this uh, uh, four one, it has all four. Um, these combo ones are different because under clip controls, we only have one set of footage scale, footage offset, and mask height width, and width and corner radius controls. And if I come to these and scale them up or change this footage offset or something, you'll see it is affecting all of these clips at the same time. Now this is less useful with four different clips, but this version was originally developed for friend of the channel, Epos Vox, uh, to compare uh, the specific quality of four very similar clips. So if you had like four recordings or four takes or something, you could zoom into the exact same area and you know compare fine detail in one uh, part of the frame with all these mask width, heights, corner radius, this, these footage offset, things like that. You still have all the standard controls, by the way, up to 20 different uh, pieces of footage instantly arranged uh, with Layout Pro. I really like Layout Pro. But a small update if you need this sort of synced control, um, as well as I just added one more uh, main one for uh, this alternate three up layout, which you could always customize to make it look like this, but now this is in there by default. Uh, next update was to my blinking cursor titles. Where are we at? Strong Supply Co. Scroll down. Uh, we have a cursor and then sort of scramble cursor. I'll just I'll grab this first cursor one. As you can see, if I type this on, we got a blinking cursor and the text comes on. Uh, this had a legitimate bug error where before this text, this blinking cursor wouldn't appear. Now it does, especially in these animation controls. Um, you can you know always change this offset so that it waits longer, it blinks longer before riding on. Uh, I like it, it's pretty cool. And we have this uh, standard style and then also this sort of scramble, more techy style, really nice. This specific bug I only caught because someone, you know, emailed me about it saying, hey, I got this thing, um, it's broken. And I said, yes, it is broken. Let me update that. <laughs> but there is plenty of cool stuff going on in these uh, presets if you don't know. With this cursor, you can always toggle it on and off, uh, change the relative position or the cursor height and width, do all sorts of things if you want that big chunky and then cool stuff. As well as uh, blinking cursor speed, all sorts of controls in a really simple text preset that I haven't seen, uh, I think anyone else kind of do like this. I like it. Uh, next are some updates to my master tracking preset and this one is interesting. This was one preset that I have sort of blown up and expanded to three standalone presets. So if I open up generators now, Sterling Supply Co, we have a master tracker folder. And I'll show you when you download this, um, you'll get this folder with a master tracker DRFX. If you install that, you will get these three here. Um, they both have this tag of free, meaning they work in the free version. 
Uh, but we also have this prototype folder. And if you open that up, you'll have another copy that will install both the free version and what I'm labeling as the studio version in DaVinci Resolve 19. We got some new tracking features in Fusion using the IntelliTrack system. I tried using those as the engine in the studio versions. Um, I'm having not as great experience or like performance with those. They're a little more hit or miss. Whereas these main tracking ones, uh, I'm, having, I'm having less error with these. I'm able to clean them up easier. But we have a main tracking preset um, that tracks uh, text and video and photos. Uh, we have a track stretch, which will track two points and sort of stretch that text or video or photo between them. And then a locked on stabilization effect. Uh, those are all here. Um, uh, those are complicated in their own right, but of course uh, links to the individual initial videos for all of these presets will be in the description. Check that out, there will be a lot of info there. Uh, but the last thing I want to mention, I actually pulled some cool stuff from these tracking presets for, and in Generator Showing Supply Co, we have this DVD uh, bouncing screensaver preset. If you've never seen this, it's pretty cool. Uh, by default, yeah, it has, you have this box, it goes around, as it hits a corner, the color changes, pretty cool, right? This is initially all it was. You could stretch the time out, just speed and some other things. But new in this version, we have extra source controls. We have uh, this sort of text cutout. You can change this to just text um, with a toggleable like outline so you can see the edges. And in addition to text, we now have a uh, loader and a uh, sort of media drop zone feature. So if I come to this drop zone, I can drag a clip from the media pool into that little clip name box it will sync up, and now if I scale that up, it will scale to fill that box. I can reposition. Uh, at this point, I can turn off the outline if I want. And now we have a video that is bouncing around. It is still changing color, or in this case, a tint, every time it hits a, uh, a side. But if you scroll up, you can change this from changing color to default color, where it'll just stay full color as it goes around, hitting those edges, bouncing off. Uh, I do think it's pretty nifty with this changing color, you still get that tint. This clip name, this drop zone functionality is best for a video coming in from uh, the media pool. You could drop images there as well, but you also have this clip loader function where you could just browse uh, here, like pull up a specific uh, still file from anywhere on your computer, change that over to loader. Again, scale it up to make sure it fits that box. Yeah, and then now you have a little bouncing. New England going all around your screen. A uh, lot of people had asked for this update. I'm really happy to be pushing it out now. And this DVD bounce screensaver is a free effect now with like a lot more value packed in there. I was very tempted to have this be sort of like a pro uh, paid extra tier, but I decided against it. <laughs> I'm very happy to revisit these presets and plugins and add more value, but I did need to say, um, that if you see the value of being added, um, a great way to support me is to head over to sterlingsupply.co um, and look at uh, all the things there if you haven't grabbed them. Like I said, there are a number of paid products as well. Layout Pro, which I like a lot, is a paid product. I try to do really cool stuff and your support really makes a difference. So if you like um, this channel and you wanna get more out of DaVinci Resolve, I have a place you can go to try to do that. But for now, if you use any of these presets, I've got some new cool stuff in there for you to check out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.